Happy Vlogmas Day 23, everybody. Two more days until Christmas. We're worn out now. Yes, we're very tired. We're coming with our last video right now, um, which probably won't go up until later. So that's why we're saying Happy Vlogmas Day 23. I broke the holder. He came... Uh, the chef keeps blaming himself because the tripod broke. Anybody could have broke it. It was needing to be replaced anyway. So we're just kind of holding the phone for now. And this is going to be our last video. And we will pick up a new tripod tomorrow if all goes well. So what we're going to do before we go to bed is we're going to make a batch of raspberry fudge. So, if you want to make any raspberry black fudge. Raspberry. Black raspberry fudge. Black raspberry. Sorry, the chef has to always correct me. Black raspberry fudge. What you're going to need for that is the same base as we normally use. You're going to need three cups of sugar. You're going to need one and a half sticks of margarine. And you're going to need two thirds cups of evaporated milk. We're going to cook that, bring it to a boil, let it boil for five minutes. Take it off the heat. We're going to add one seven ounce jar of marshmallow cream. We're gonna add one 11 ounce bag of vanilla white chips, white baking chips. We're also gonna add one and a half teaspoons of raspberry extract. And for this one, we're also adding some raspberry compote, some black raspberry compote, if you can see it over there. It's already been strained and free of seeds. That is also going to go into this fudge. And then, to top it off, just to make it cute, we have some little hairy bow berries that we're going to put on top of each piece. So, what do you say? I give this phone to the chef, and let's get to cooking some fudge. Okay, we've got three cups of sugar in. Now, I'm just going and cutting my butter up into it, like I always do. You guys have seen this a couple of times already. Chef wanted to show you again for good measure. Well, this is going to be fancy fudge, so... One stick. He calls it fancy fudge, but yeah, it's just it, fudge. If I can do that with that compote like I'm talking about, it'd be fancy fudge. Plus the hairy bow. Well, the hairy bow's new, but the compote's not new. No, but the way we're going to do the compote is new. Yeah. We're not going to mix it all in like we do normally. Okay, no. there goes our one and a half sticks of butter in. All right. Now we just need two-thirds cups of evaporated milk. Whoops. Penguin's losing everything over here. Uh, ain't as bad as me and my Coke earlier. <laughs> well, that's what you get. I'm not supposed to be drinking regular pot, but I pretty much decided I'm cheating. It's going to be that way until probably New Year's. Then i got to get back on the diet big time. So we bought a six-pack of regular Coke. And we was making some stuff earlier that had cherry extract. So I put a little cherry extract in it. And dummy me, we got some cherry candies. I dropped the candy in there thinking it would foam a little bit. But I'd already drank some of the Coke out of the <laughs> bottle. It took off like I dropped a Mentos in it. And of course, I tried to put my mouth over it to cover it. Running for the sink. Didn't make it. Lost about half my bottle of pop. <laughs> I'm worried about the mess all over the floor. And he's worried. Look at my pop bottle. It's almost down to the label. Yeah, it was my last pop. <laughs> All right. All right, we've got three cups of sugar, one and a half sticks of margarine, and two-thirds cups of evaporated milk in here. We're going to get it over to the stove. We're just cooking this down now like we have before, trying to get the butter to melt and all the sugar to melt. And as soon as it starts to come to a boil, we're going to turn our burner down to just a little past medium and boil it for five minutes. We'll be back once it starts boiling. Okay, we've got it at a full rolling boil. And what I mean by rolling boil is, is it still boils once you're, even though you continue to stir it, it still continues to boil. So I've got my burner down to just a little past medium. Here's medium. Here's my setting right here. Here's high. So I've got it more towards medium. Got my timer set. We've got four minutes and 30 seconds left. And once it comes to a, once the timer goes off, we're going to take it off the heat and add our other ingredients. Just make sure you keep stirring it while it's bubbling. Okay. All right, we just took it off the heat now. Time to add in our ingredients. 
our marshmallow cream. Always the fun part, getting that marshmallow cream out of there. Yeah, that's usually what I do. Not now, though, because he's manning the camera. That's all right. We'll get it, though. Not the first time. Won't be the last time. As long as we get most of it, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. One more little spoonful. There's got to be an easier way. I've even sprayed the spoon with Pam to try to get it out easier. It works like the first time, but after that, it's like, eh, it doesn't work anymore. All right, marshmallow cream's in. Got our raspberry extract. Here's a good cap. Got a cap and a half full of raspberry extract. And one 11 ounce bag of white chips, white vanilla chips. All right. Got all that in, and we're just going to mix. Mix until everything is all melted down. So we'll be back once this gets melted and get it pouring into our pan. Okay, now we're going to pour it into our pan. Got it lined with parchment paper. We've got it sprayed with butter spray, or you can rub it down with butter, whichever you prefer to do. Get all this in here. Smells like raspberries. Mm -hmm. Raspberry is one of my favorite flavors, too. In certain things. I, I don't like raspberry drinks. I do like some raspberry candy. I love raspberry fudge. I love raspberry ice cream. Those are all good things. All right. Got that. Okay. Now what we're going to do for this one is we're going to take some of this raspberry compote. And I know it looks liquidy, and it is, but it's okay. It's going to blend into our fudge here. Just bear with me and you'll see what I mean. Get all that goodness in here. Got to kind of move fast though because if not, it's going to set up on you too much. All right. We go. Now we're just going to take our knife and we're going to swirl. Take our knife and swirl. Drag it through up and down the fudge. Just like this to get it incorporated into the fudge itself. Nice swirls in the fudge. As much as you can do. Drag and swirl. All right, there we go. There we have it. Now all we have to do is let it sit for about an hour and let it set up. So once it sets up a little bit, we're going to go and we're going to take these candies and we're going to put these candies on top. If you can see, they look like little berries. It's just too soon to put them on there because I don't want them sinking to the bottom of the fudge. So we'll be back. And oh, fudge. <laughs> and we're watching a Christmas story right now, too. Yes, we are watching a Christmas story. Anyway, that's our raspberry fudge. And it's starting to set up already. Okay, and there you have it. All cut. That is our black raspberry white chocolate fudge. Man, is it good. It is so good, y'all. It's really good fudge. If you can see those swirls in there of the black raspberry compote. Oh, yeah. Just a little sticky on top. It's a little sticky on top, but that's okay. And that's what it's all about, right? It's fudge. 
So it's so good. Everybody's going to love this one. We just want to share with you and show you what it looked like when we were done. So we hope everybody is having a great night. Merry Christmas Eve. And we will see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy Vlogmas. Vlogmas.